I learned not to give up. Yeah, we're not John Cena. Um, listen. You want a shot in this tournament? That's all I'm asking. I don't care about the past. I just want to. You Let's really, look at. You really want stand beside me you right here. Let's look into the future. I'm not standing by you. But don't stand by me. All I want is a shot. Yes or no? Don't don't give me no information. Nothing. Yes or no? No. No. Well, I guess I go you, back you home. You haven't given me a reason to put you in this little tournament. What? Ma I had that championship. I could just give me that title right now. Give myself that title. But you know what? I'm smarter than that. And I'm actually gonna let one of these slaves actually take one of these titles. Why you gotta call them slaves? I know you, I, I really know that you the GM, you can say what you wanna say. Being the guy, but why, why do all the BWE superstar has to be slaves? <clears throat> why, why do you call them They're slaves? My authority, like, now see, what if all the BWE superstars right now come out gang up and just jump you, kill you, and now who's going to be the general? All right, first of all, we're getting off topic. Second of all, you still have not given me an explanation on why you should be in this tournament. Because I want to be the Red Extreme Champion. Okay, when you learn to pronounce World Extreme Champion correctly, then you can be in this tournament. But for right now, you're out of this tournament. You got that? You, you have not given me an explanation yet on why you should be in this tournament. Something that I need. How do you need it? You are ready to be WWE champion. You are ready to exactly. be man. You are ready. I can enter myself. In Matter of fact, you are two-time WWE yeah. champion. So, exactly. so what do you what do you need to prove? Nothing. I don't have anything else to prove. I'm just basically the right now. I'm as I can see you right now, all you can do is you can retire if you want to right now. I could. Or else I mean, I, or I could torture you, just like I mean, you did to me. Why torture me? Just like you did to me. I didn't you torture you. Manager. I didn't you, when torture you. were you. general manager. Yes, you were. I did not. Matt, you still have not given me an explanation. Give me I an just explanation. Don't. I just told you. I want to be the W E champion. You know what? Fine. You want to be a world champion, fine. And I'll, put, I'll put you up against another loser that lost at extravagance of ISIS. Uh, well, looks like I'm already advanced to the next round. That's nothing. So, without further ado, you're in the tournament. But you'll never have this again. Took you a while to get it. See? Seth Maverick is a backstabber. So all he is is a racist backstabber. Yeah, I say racist. Because who, who, he doesn't talk to jump to nobody else but me. Because I'm black. Look at this. Skin color. Black. He's racist. That's the only reason he's down all on me about it. He never talked to Velando Alto. He never talks to Matt Kingston like that. He only talks to me like that. He's a racist backstabber. That's all he is. And that's all I got to say about it. If you're my fan, you're my fan. If you're not, oh well. All the fans, y'all gonna see me world screen champion. That's all I have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to DRW. I am the Dizad. What's so, up? What the? <laughs> um, who are you? I'm you from the future. Well, that that doesn't that you look just like me. That doesn't make any sense. And do I always look this good? No, numb nuts. Not from the future, future. From right after King of the Rivals. Okay, so you can tell me if I win or not, right? What? Well, no, I'm not going to tell you when or not. And I'll give you two reasons why. Because if you do win, and I tell you you're going to win, you're going to be overly confident. And you're going to go in there knowing you're going to win, and you're going to end up losing it for the both of us. And I'm not going to tell you if you lose, because you're just going to throw the whole thing away, and one of the greatest pay-per-views in DRW history is ruined because of you. So no, I'm not going to tell you if you win 
or if you lose. Oh, okay. Um, so why are you here? Like, I mean, you came all the way into the past to do what? Well, that's easy. This. Oh! What, what was that? Oh, this could not be good. Oh, hey though. You fans are the Tita fan base. The fan that made this possible. T W L last song. You made this all possible. But I'm not a Tita wrestler no more. I'm the cult leader, the leader, the front line, I'm the goat of the NWL. The greatest of all time of the NWL. And come Fighting for gold, my team will win. We got all what it takes to win because if I know anything, I know how to win. Luke Chido know how to win. Matt Man know how to win. The longest reigning TJ World Champion at all. Fighting for gold over the TJ World Tower Shane's. To the N W F World Tower. And hey, in the impossible. Also, Kendra, I know you, you know me. We went down this so many times. We had so many matches. Hell, you beat me for the best wrestling award earlier this year. Last week we fought, or two weeks ago, we fought to a draw. Well, come, fighting for gold. Somebody will win. The biggest thing our company had ever fought. Tia vs. Anna, who will win, will take the company. And hell, I don't even talk about this. I, now, I'm going to go into the day. I need, really need to tell you folks. We about to begin the marathon or Tia, I mean, man. Great match of all time, and we're about to start right. The hell? Hi, animal. Hello. How does it feel knowing that I'm in complete control of this right now? All is a, all of it is man. Animal, you would be thinking how how did he do this? How did he hack in to the technology of TWL or the NWL, whatever? How did he do it? Simply because I am Mr. Oh yeah, Mr. Fighting for Gold, Mr. Steal Your Spotlight, and tonight, well, I guess I have complete control over your little segment, and so guess what? Tonight, we're going to have something very special, animal. You don't, you about to have a lot of minutes. A lot of minutes. Just bad care about you. Just, you want to talk off your mouth, you don't. You don't you about to just watch your matches and sit there, eat some popcorn, eat some cheese puffs, whatever you do. But animal, come fighting for gold. Food, I am coming for you. I am coming for you with that. And come our joy minutes alma match is gonna feel like poor hell. And I'm not gonna stop beating you down until that last second comes to an end. And come find for gold three. I will be the sole owner of T. WL, and we would not have to rebrand into a lane company like in the uh, Also, Animal, right now, you think I'm live? But this is pre recorded.
skin and cheese bus. What the hell wrong with you? Damn. Hey, that's my channel. Let's get TWL on. Hey, Ray. As long as I know that each and every one of you respected me, loved it, and enjoyed all this, all these years in KPW, that's what matters to me. I stumble over my words, I stutter because, man, when you get emotional, when you get excited, that's just how it comes out. Like I loved it so much, and I want to do this so much, that that's all I think about each and every day. KBW is in me. KBW is going out with a bang. I'm facing big time Mike and AK-47. But I'm doing it for each and every one of you. Hashtag KBW forever. Send it to me on Twitter. Send it to me on Instagram. Send it to me on Facebook. I don't care because I know at the end of the day, after all these years, five years of my life, I put my body on the line. Not for money. Not because I wanted people's approval. Because I loved it. And I loved it. Hearing that y'all loved it. So, AK-47, he's had a thousand accomplishments. Big time Mike, since he came here so quick, he's had so many accomplishments. And I can go on and on and on about my accomplishments. But that's the past. I'm looking towards the future. One more match. One more time. One more chance. And one more opportunity to entertain each and every one of you. My name is Cage. My name is Fuego Del Sol. And I'm here for y'all. January 31st. Sunday, January 31st. How appropriate would it be to name this last video KBW Blood, Sweat, and Tears? Because no one has done it more than I have. At Blood, Sweat, and Tears on January 31st. The last final KBW episode. The triple threat match to end it all. I'm ready. I'm more focused than ever. I'm going to put my body on the line more than I ever have before. So AK-47, big time Mike, you come with a chip on your shoulder. You come ready to prove something. You come, you better not take me lightly because Cage is coming for it all. January 31st, be ready. KBW forever. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. What's up, BW World? It's your BW Champion, the Bad Raid, and I'm here with some um, unfortunate news. Um, as you've seen, BW hasn't really been um, posting as much as we usually do the past couple of months. Um, you know, after two years later, uh, everything seemed to go downhill with. Um, Competitors wanting to show up at events. We're losing wrestlers daily. But um, out of all the wrestlers in BEW, I think there's only a select few that really care about you and really care about wrestling. So with that being said, we want BEW is ending. And um, we don't want to go out just by saying we're ending no we want to we want to have one last final special event for all of you guys because you guys deserve it the show will be called the end because it's the end of bw so me and bw management got together and we put together three solid matches that we think that you guys would be interested in seeing um We want you guys to, you know, take this and I want you to think about this because BW's been together for two years. It's really hard. It's really hard getting on camera and saying this to each and every one of you because I've been here since day one, since BW was nothing. I've been here from when BW was nothing to now when it actually means something. And through all of the, all the road bumps 
thick and thin. Everyone has supported us, whether they liked me or not. Because I'm going to tell you, this has been the biggest roller coaster of my my life. Um, I've I've made friends, I've made enemies. But one common thing I share with all of them is I respect each and every person that does this. Each and every person that goes out there, puts a camera up, records it, and puts it on YouTube and wrestles their butt off each and every week, or whether it's monthly for you, I respect you. And I respect everyone that does what I do because I love what I do. This is no hobby. This is a lifestyle for me. And surely, yes, the road doesn't end for the bad read. But in backyard wrestling, it does. The bad, the bad read is done with backyard wrestling after this. I plan to go train at OVW. I've already started um, the beginner's lessons. The beginner's training in OVW. And I plan to, you know, do something big with, with this. And, um, but as for BEW, we got one last show for you guys. Um, I'm going to keep you posted within the next day or so. I'm going to post another video. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell each and every one of you the match card.